Go ahead. I think he's got it loose. Ooh. Show it up in the light. Put it in the sunlight. Back up. It's not that good. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I'm not focused on it yet. Hold still, hold still. Very nice. Very nice. Hello YouTube. We're on our way to a creek spot that uh, runs off or perpendicular to a old railroad track that has uh, limestone or chalk and you can find iron pyrite there in the creek. So we're on an iron pyrite hunt. You can also find some sea urchin, fossilized sea urchin remains as well. And there may be other stuff that we just haven't found before. Anyway, hope you enjoy the, the trip and hopefully we find something good. We got a little friend here. Look at this guy we got down here. A little terrapin. Hope she doesn't mind or he. I'm going to pick her up to show y'all. Did you just kick that loose? Yes. <laughs> Live find. Look at that. You got an insulator. Any damage on it you can tell? No. Nothing whatsoever. This is one of the insulators from the old te telegraph lines or electricity lines that would run right next to the to the railroad. Pretty cool, son. I'm pretty sure that's your first insulator. Whole one to find. Yep. Usually we just find broken pieces. And we're just ignoring her the whole time. I thought you said a live mine. I was like, I was about ready to jump and duck and take cover. Doesn't want to focus on her. Look at that mark right there in the middle. Something tried to get to her. But we used to call these box turtles growing up. But it's a terrapin tortoise relative all right well maybe we'll find some more live finds and uh we'll bring you along here's something that you can and it, this this old railroad track right here um all of it's been donated to like a non-for-profit a uh, railway no sorry a trailway that runs along you know, about a hundred and something miles. And a lot of it in the town areas, they've already converted into active horse walking and bicycle trails. Um, but these are just the, the plates and the parts to the, to the railroad tracks that would hold it down and everything else. And they're kicked off here to the side. We might, if we come back by this way, pick these up and uh, take them home. We'll see. So these things might come in pairs. Got an insulator right there in the dirt. And over there is another box turtle. Or a terrapin. So these guys are in this shaded area out of the sun. And right here, we found an insulator down in the dirt. All right, um, without breaking it, let's see if you can get it out. I'd do a twisting motion if I was you. I wouldn't go so close with the rock. I'd first try to just twist it out. Ooh, it's a really good one. Nice condition, too. Awesome. And I don't know if I've seen this style from this area. I'm sure I've seen it before, like in a in a flea market or something. Pretty cool. Yep. Good find. All right, show them, guys. Very cool. So this is how you find most of the insulators along here, just in pieces and pieces like that. But... He put together one of them, four different pieces, but not worth hauling out, just to show you. Mm -hmm. And then I've picked up those to a railroad spike and a railroad bolt. And then another thing that you'll find along here is this slag. And I think that that was being hauled by the railroad cars, you know, away from either an iron refining place or or it could have been, you know, they could have been extracting some other type. Anyway, this is just the 
the slag or the flux there on top that came off and they would haul it away. Pretty cool. All right, we made it here to wherever the railroad track crosses the creek. And we're gonna walk up this creek and on up there about a quarter to a half a mile is where you can find the, the fool's gold. What time is it, son? 12 o'clock. That means it took us 55 minutes to get here. All right, let's go. That right there is the uh, chalk or limestone bed that we're gonna encounter on up ahead. Right here, it's just at our feet though. Up ahead, we'll be able to dig into it and hopefully find some good pyrite. All right, here we are, if I can keep it. There we go. This is it, this is the wall of fool's gold. You already see some? Yeah. There's three pieces. One right there. Right there. And over here, there's a better example. It's a bit more shiny. I can't see that one to the left of it. There's also some up here. Of course, it's harder to see. It's in the shadow and such. Yeah, you can't see all the facets of it, but you can make it out a little bit. We're going to have to clean some of it up and just show it to you later. Show me again. It's all over the place here. Yep, you just got to look for it and then bust it out as well. Looks like we got one right here. I can't tell if it started to rust. A lot of times if these weather too much, they, uh, they'll rust. So you gotta really uh, chip them fresh all the way around out of the out of the rock. See if I can do this without busting this one open. There you go. Some of it ought to be good anyway. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, this one's already starting to rust some. Usually they'll be yellowish to greenish. This one's got a lot of red and brown going on, so. Oh, and here's one right at your feet. That one looks a little bit better. Move back. Looking pretty big. Can you, how, how well can you see the glitter on that? Well, I saw the glitter. Is it showing up on the camera though? I'm trying to focus. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. There be gold in their heels. <laughs> Go ahead. There's tons of it here. They're small, but right here, right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. Right here. They've got them all over the place. Those are going to be hard to pick out though, aren't they? Yeah, probably. Looks like there's one right there. And there's one right here. Oh, this yeah. one is really shiny. It's been broken though. There's another one right there. Yeah. You just got to look for it and find your best piece. Probably come through and break out some of this or break out some of this and see what we can uncover underneath it. And then also right here, and these are all fossil shells mixed up in it. These are all broken up, but I, I once found a real big uh, sea urchin that was whole for the most part. Shell. So there's a piece right there, right there. And I've been working this, I uh, pull that big old chunk right there to uh, try to make it easy and get at that one. And it's about to come out. It's about to come out. Leeches? Yeah. Yeah, don't go swimming in it. I wouldn't advise it. There it is. Here's that piece. We can...
try and clean it up here in just a second. All right, show them to me. So there's one right here. And there's also a bigger piece right there. It's either a cluster or a single piece. And that piece right there. All right, he's gonna try to bust these loose. We'll come back to you later. not to hit the, the pyrite itself. Okay. Don't get impatient because as soon as you get impatient you hit what you're trying to preserve. There's one. Hand it to me. Keep going. Bonus points for anybody that can tell me what this tool is that he's using is made for or normally used for. We had loaned out our, our rock pick and so we didn't have it with us to bring on this trip. Nice piece. Not able to break it out yet? No. Is it big enough you don't want to break it out? You might break it into two pieces. I want to make sure it's one piece. Oh, that is really big. Alright, it's hot out here and we've been sweating. I think it's time for a snack. Would you like some jelly beans? Some sugar sweet jelly beans? Hmm. You have clean hands? Yeah. Do you now. Hold out your hands. Are you working hard or hardly working? Hmm. You want some jelly beans? Pack your head back. Mm -mm. So this is not a trash bug. This is actually a different little creature, a worm, that has a bunch of trash. It makes a little sack. And it apparently fell off its tree spot. And so it's trying to crawl its way back up and not having an easy time. And since this one is a harmful one, I'm about to squish it once we get off camera. So I was hammering for pyrite and I hit this one and I'm keeping it for two different reasons. One is to keep it as a learning lesson, never get impatient. I was kind of trying to hurry up and I broke it. The second reason is because it's a really good example of the inside of pyrite. How it's real silver, it's silvery, and it's shiny. I, I like it, so. This may be the last nice piece that I pull out. I uh, was busting it off to get at that piece, and it revealed that piece underneath there, so I'm going to work on it and see what comes from it. Hopefully a nice one. So there's the mining site right there. And those are my nuggets. And I've got some more that I broke off right at the beginning that I had my son kind of cleaning up. But a bunch of different pieces there. Small stuff, nothing big, but just a, a big old uh, cluster of things all, all up in there. Pretty cool. Alright, so there's mine and my oldest uh, nuggets. And then inside of here is, is my number two's nuggets. And it's hot, and we spend about all the time that we can. So we are going to call it a day.
And if y'all can hear that, the cicadas are sending us on our way. They're saying bye. Pretty good fun. Actually, I think we did better than what we were expecting. Um, I was hoping for maybe one big fresh nugget. We found one or two big uh, weathered nuggets, but overall, good stuff, plus those insulators. Thank y'all so much for watching. Y'all have a good one. Bye. So the whole time we've been here, this tree right here has been keeping watch over us. Anybody know what that is? I don't know if I'll be able to get close enough for you to see. Anybody have any ideas? Those are buckeyes. We may come back later and gather some up. Because we uh, sold them last year. And made a few dollars on it. It was just something fun to do because we were already up here on the, in the creek. Alright. Again, y'all have a good one. Wow, oh wow, oh wow. We found the most rare thing ever. An albino buckeye. Look at that. That is a rare albino buckeye. Crazy! This thing's got to be worth at least $500 a piece. Either that or it's just not mature yet. Still got a couple weeks to go. <laughs> Take care now.